go. Okay. All right, boys and girls, today's lesson is going to be on representing fractions, which is something you learned in fourth grade, probably did more in fifth grade, maybe you learned it in third grade. But um, the important thing is to understand what is a fraction and how can you model it or represent it. So let's first, on our notebook, you're gonna turn to the first blank page of your notebook and you're gonna title it Representing Fractions, just like I have here on my paper. And then you're gonna write the definition in your notebook of what is a fraction. A fraction simply is something that tells us how many parts of a whole we have. We have one half and one third, and it can also be written as with a slash in between your one and two and your one and three. And a fraction has two parts. The top number is your numerator and tells us how many parts of our whole we have. And our denominator is our bottom number that tells us how the whole is broken apart. So there are three different ways that you can represent a fraction. Well, there are other ways, but here are some ways to represent a fraction. So here we have a number one. So what I have done is drawn zero to two. Those are my whole numbers, zero, one, and two. And what I've done is split my whole part of my number line into, first I did two equal sections. So I put a line right in the middle to create two equal sections of my number line and labeled it one half. From zero to the halfway point is just one half of the number line or one of two parts. And then from one half to one is two of two parts, which is a whole. Then I split it into four equal sections, and from zero to the first is one of the four parts, two of the four parts, three of the four parts, and then four of the four parts, which is the same as a whole, okay? And then I modeled using fraction bars. So fraction bars are really easy, because all you have to do is draw a square, a rectangle, and the whole rectangle is your whole, and then I split my whole into two equal parts, shaded in one of them to show you that it is one of two parts, which is a half. And I did the same thing, but split that big rectangle into four equal parts and shaded in two of them. And it's two of my four equal parts, as we see, is the same as a half. So it is taking a whole and breaking it into equal parts. Equal parts is the key word here, equal parts. And then, I have fraction circles. So I've drawn a circle as best I can. It's really hard to draw a perfect circle, freehand anyways. And I cut it into two equal parts, shaded in a half, and then cut it into four equal parts and shaded in two, one of two equal parts, two of four equal parts. And as we can see, they're the same. Again, to create fractions, the fractions have to be the same size pieces. All right, so what I want you guys to try and do is I want you to try and label eight six on a number line. So you're gonna create a number line and then put a dot on eight where eight six would be. So go ahead and pause the video and give that a try on your paper. This is your practice problem. All right, now we've unpaused the video and here is how you would put eight six on a number line. So what I have done is I've created a number line from zero to three, and I've broken each whole sections of my number line into six, six equal parts. Uh, I kind of knew that I would have to go past a whole, past one, because my numerator is greater than my denominator. One would be six over six. And as we can see, eight six is greater than six six. So I knew it would go past one. So this denominator tells us how to break apart our holes. So what I've done is from zero to one, I've broken it into six equal parts. And I've labeled them one six, two six, three six, four six, five six, and then six six is your whole. And then I had to do the second whole part of my number line into six equal parts as well to get us to eight, six. And then I put a dot there. Any questions? All right, we'll talk more about it in class as we practice representing fractions with number lines, fraction bars, and fraction circles.